Well, this is today's site. As the lawn slopes upwards, a fair amount of digging had to be done on this particular occasion. The complete Durabase kit is delivered to site. It arrives in component form and no individual item is too heavy to lift. One of the key distinctives of the Durabase is the fact that you don't need to lay a complete concrete foundation. However, you do have to install what we call concrete pads. The position of the pads and all the supporting information you need will be given to you well ahead of the arrival of the Durabase kit. This will allow you to prepare the site ahead of time. The depth and the size of the hole is specified in your instructions. This particular installation needs only five pads. The leveling bolts are a key component of the Durabase. You'll notice on the back wall of this bungalow that there is an electrical outlet that looks like it's getting in the way of the back section. As you'll see though, we've been able to modify this in order to avoid the obstruction. The fixing of the back section is a critical part of the process. It's vital that it's fitted firmly and that it's absolutely level. The supplied raw bolts are immensely strong and more than adequate for the job. Once you've drilled your holes, simply tap the raw bolts in, tighten the bolts slightly to engage the sleeve, and then withdraw the bolt. Having offered up the back section to the wall, hand tighten the bolts. You'll need to check the section is absolutely level before you fully tighten them. Now comes the remainder of the outer frame. Having inserted your leveling screws first, offer up the side sections to the back section. They can then be bolted together. The front section is fixed in just the same way. Inserting the joists is very straightforward as brackets have already been welded into the outer sections. This is one of the unique features of Durabase. The leveling bolts sit on the concrete pads. They're adjusted with a spanner and this provides an absolutely rock solid floor.
The front joist has a welded lip. It's there to allow the floorboards to be fixed as the wall will sit immediately behind it. Because of the span of the joist, there's always the possibility of a little bit of spring in the middle. For this reason we supply floor joist supports. These are hand tightened into place and will eliminate any spring. Next we're going to fit the side skirts starting at the outer corners. Using tech screws saves a whole amount of time because they simply self-tap directly into the metal. The wall sections are designed to look like regular brickwork on the outside, but on the inside there's great flexibility for fitting plumbing, cabling and insulation. At all stages, it's essential to continue to check your levels. The wall sections are fitted to the base using self-drilling bolts. being left here is for the French doors that will eventually be fitted to the conservatory. Nuts and bolts are provided to fix each section of the dwarf wall together. Sealing the wall sections is very important. 
This will ensure that no water can penetrate the base. We supply all the brick tiles and the adhesive to begin finishing your dwarf wall. Our fitters are using mortar applicators to point the brickwork. We find that it saves time and stops unwanted cement finding its way onto the bricks. The last thing we need to do is finish the floor. This is very straightforward indeed. We provide the clips and the expanded polystyrene panels that you simply cut to size and drop in between the joists. In this particular installation, we use chipboard floor panels. The benefit of these is they're very versatile. They can be used with a whole range of different floor coverings. And here it is after finishing and decoration. There's a whole range of inner dwarf wall coverings that you can use from wood panel effect or plasterboard or brick effect. Excluding the floor and the concrete drying time, it actually took less than six hours to build this base. A 
traditionally built dwarf wool will always take considerably longer and is likely to cost a great deal more. 